Guys, you know we love sushi. We've done videos about sushi before. We even made 29 episodes of a segment called Eat Your Sushi. When we found out there was a restaurant in Tokyo called you ready for this? Eat the my sushi. We were like, this is destiny. We must film here. We must go to this place. It, it calls me. It calls me. Oh my god. Guys, as you can see, Eat my sushi is absolutely gorgeous. Ooh, our sake's here. We're gonna get back to you we'll in a second. Ooh yeah, pour that sake. Just keep going. Just keep going. Oh yeah, overflow that sake all over the place. Oh, just like that. Ooh, I'm gonna drink you so good. Guys, can you see how unbelievably beautiful this restaurant is? This is gorgeous. Now, there's a reason why it's called Ikema Sushi Edo. Edo. It's the Edo time period, so right. everything here is themed that way, which is why they offer you yokatas. Uh -huh. Even the lockers had that amazing yeah. locking system. Not only does this place have awesome sushi, it also has a really unique assortment of sushi. Mm -hmm. They have a lot of like amazing ways that they lay it out. Right. Some kind of like original dishes that I've never seen before on a so menu. So that's what I'm excited to try today. They have lots of different kinds of sushi mm -hmm. that I've never seen before. Even like fusion-y looking things. And I'm really interested to see how creative they can get. Not done yet. Oh, soy sauce. Nice. Wow. Hey, can I get all of my food served to me on a paddle? From now on is all I'm saying. Forever and this born. is the part of the video in which Martina's gonna take lots of bee can shots Let's. and I'm not gonna be able to eat for a while. Listen, don't you guys wanna see close-up shots of all this delicious You just fish? want us to eat. No. Vote now. Look. Do you wanna see the food shots this. or do you wanna see me eat? Martina has tortured me enough. It is time for us to finally eat. Martina has tortured me enough. Martina has. It is time for us to finally eat. What's great about sashimi? Low carb. Super low carb. Super low carb. Thanks for bringing that up. I'm just going to start at the top here. Yeah, let's, let's work this our way down. This looks like some beautiful, delicious magic tuna oh, right yeah. here. Yeah, here we go. That was great. Hey, I'll fight you to the death for the last piece. Rock, paper, scissors. You oh only my fair way. god. Junkin boy, junkin boy, junkin boy. I know that you like tuna the best, so I'll give it to you, Ducky. I give it to you because I love you. Mm. I really wanted that tuna. You pressured me. Mmm. Mm -hmm. Ooh, I've never had this type of sashimi before. This is udoburo. And they gently actually seared it on top with a little mm. bit of fire. Here we go. Mmm. Mmm. Okay. That tastes a bit like chicken, doesn't it? There's a little grilling on top. That grilling on top gives it that like little mm. barbecue flavor. So this is the first time I've ever seen shrimp like this. This is a really big... Whoa, so they deshelled it for you. This is scary, but I'm going to try it like Don't this. Don't drip it all over yourself. Is it sweet? Mm-hmm. I love cooked shrimp, but this is great. Whoa, I was hesitant. That was a great idea. Now I have 
some important historical information to tell you. My glasses. So you guys saw that when they poured my sake, it overflowed into this little wooden box. And mm -hmm. traditionally, you would actually serve sake in these wooden boxes, which the cedar added flavor to the sake. But some places won't serve a woman a wooden box. And if they do, they'll serve like a lacquered box instead. Mm -hmm. Well, it turns out the reason they don't is because our lipstick or our lip stain will actually go into the wood and, and damage affect the it. wood. And so if you don't get served one of these boxes, don't be offended. That's simply because they don't want you to ruin the box. Oh, yes. Mm. More sake. Good thing I'm not wearing lipstick. Mm. Oh, this is amazing. This is something I was really excited to try. I've never had this before. I've never even seen this on a menu before. Okay. This, oh, wait, wait, you got excited. Yes, Every, time, every, every time, every time. This is deep fried sea urchin, and it's been wrapped in seaweed. This looks awesome. I'm so pumped. I, I just never even heard of doing it this way. This is a lot of sea urchin, son. Are you ready? Okay. Yeah. Mmm. Uni on its own can be overwhelming to some people, but I think this little bit of salt with the crunchiness of the tempura batter and the seaweed makes it a lot easier if you've never tried uni before. I've also never had it warm. Yeah, never had warm uni never before. Never had it warm. Mmm. exciting here. Oh my god, guys. Okay. This is thrilling to me. Is this gonna be the world's best fish and chips of our life? This is sushi fish style. Fish and chips. Ooh, you thought I was done. I'll never be done with you, food. I'll never be done with you, baby girl. Never. <laughs> oh my god. That's ridiculous. That is the best fish and chip I've ever had. Why did I have this? Halibut? This is like a, a life ruining, that's one of those no, experiences where you, you eat it and then you're like, you can never go back England to fish and chips ever wrong. again. I never thought I would go to sushi place and have the best fish and chips of my life. The Edo period. Did they serve fish and chips? They were ahead of their time. <laughs> they were. So what you're saying is Britain copied, copied Japan. Japan. What if you just want great fish and chips? Don't um. look for any pubs. <laughs> In Tokyo, Eat just come here for the fish and chips. Come for the fish and chips. I don't even know how you eat this. Okay, they gave us extra soy sauces, but it's just for me and Martina. I don't have to share with anybody. <laughs> I'm gonna go in for the. Wait, hang on. Oh, there's rolls under here. Are there rolls under there? Look. Ah. Oh. Oh. My God. Did you even save any uni for me? Oh, I took like seven rolls. Yeah, girl, I got two here. This is why I can't take Martina out anywhere. Okay, I'll put some back. She just doesn't know how to behave herself. I'm sorry, see you with him. So these are a whole bunch of little tiny mm. cucumber rolls, and they put a whole bunch of fish on top. Wow. Martina took okay. seven of them at once. So this is like the world's now most generous macaroni roll in the There you go. There is nothing glamorous about this. But it is luxurious. But everything is all right. Mm. Oh, yeah. Crab and uni. Cruni. Cruni. A new thing, copyright 2016, Simon and Martina, eat your sushi. This is messy and wonderful. Mm. This is like how you want to eat a roll. This is covered in so much excess toppings mm. that you can kind of pick and choose. Like I just had magoro mm. with a little bit of salmon egg mm. and it was amazing. <laughs> now, because my parents have taught me that kids who don't eat all of their food go to a special circle in hell, because we have all this left over, I can't let any of it go to waste. So they're letting us make our own maki rolls. That's fantastic. So okay. here we have, this is great. Because there's so much here, I don't want to waste inside. any of it. Okay. Do you know how to make this? No. Oh, Simon. I'm just gonna no. put some in the mm. middle. Pat it down gently. Yeah, yeah, gentle. Grab some uni. Uh-huh. 
some eggs. Magro. Some magro. Some crab there. The chef is looking at me like, oh no. Being judged. Yeah. But I'm like, oh yes. I think this is right. right. Roll it up. This is gonna be the best roll of my life. Also, it should be glossy side out. No, because like I'm a Westerner and I want to try a different one. Ah, so 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 so. Okay, make yours. Okay. Martina has made her very own mackie roll. Mmm. Oh, mm. man. This food's right here. I'm a sushi master. Mm -hmm. Certified right now. Certified right Certified now. Certified right here. Oh. Certified. We're having a great time. Did mm. you, can you tell? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> there goes all your cotton candy. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> Nice. That's the saddest thing Martina's ever experienced. Did you want cotton candy? Well, guess who's not getting any cotton candy? It's, Martina. It's so adult now. Cotton candy, here go your hopes and dreams. I was like, Up in flames. I was like watching a balloon be popped. I know. You know what? There you go. <laughs> Did, you yeah. like this rabbit? Did you have a favorite teddy bear? Uh, uh, there you go. I think it's rather clever. They use a cotton candy as a creme brulee sugar on top. That's very smart. It was barbaric. How could you say it was clever? Mmm. I can distinctly taste the last death of the cotton candy. <laughs> can you taste that? That's innocence lost right there in dessert formats. Oh yeah. Okay, no. I like that idea. I'm gonna do that to Cotton Candy from now on. You take that back. Mm. I just had a wonderful time here. This was super fun. This was amazing. Like, uh. I know we sounded really biased because we're yeah. eating your sushi and this yeah. is eating my sushi, Ed, though, yeah. but like, this was amazing. If this... you're coming to Tokyo, like, try to sit at the bar if you can. Because exactly. Wasn't that an amazing experience? Getting the paddles served to you, love it. This place is more than just a fun name. This is a great place to go. Yeah. Check it out. I like it here a lot. I drank a lot. Oh, Simon drank a lot. I'm doing okay. Are you leaving? I'm going. Oh, he's coming back. Here comes the penguin. Are you penguin? What's happening here? Are you asleep? Hmm. You're too heavy. I can't carry you. Carry me, Ducky. Okay, let's go. Come let's on. Let's go, girl. Let's go. Let's go, girl. I got you. <laughs> you want to milk cotton candy? That's fine. I don't care. I'll kill you.